Good morning guys and welcome to Velvet Hammer Fitness. Well today I have a fun boot camp workout for you to do. This workout is in the style of the boot camp classes that I do during the middle of the week. So on Saturdays we usually don't use any equipment, do an all body weight workout. And on Thursdays when I teach the other boot camp class, we use dumbbells, we really focus on strength and then we put some cardio in there just to keep us honest. So anyway, this workout will have hit intervals. Um, we'll be lifting weights, of course. We will have some Tabata intervals uh, to keep our heart rate up nice and high and get us some cardio in there. And then we'll have a rep section for the legs at the end. So grab your light, medium, and heavy dumbbells because we'll be using them all. Grab your water and always grab your candy attitude because that is the best equipment that you have besides your amazing body. So. I will see you back here once you've gathered up your stuff for a warm-up so that we can get ready for this thing. All right, see you in a minute. All right, guys, let's get started with a good warm-up for this boot camp style workout. Let's first just start by doing some side-to-side -side steps. I want you to squeeze your back as you're stepping. We're going to turn this into a step with a reach. I know you probably feel like you're getting ready for an aerobic workout, but <clears throat> I just want us to ease into it today. Really open up that side body. One more each side. All right, shake it out. Now I want you to mime out some bicep curls as you step back, okay? So curl it up as you step back. Tighten that core. Get your body ready for how it's really going to have to operate. One more each side. All right, shake it out. We're going to circle those shoulders. Now you can do this moving or you can do it just standing still. Let's reverse it. Awesome. Now we're going to lunge forward, open that chest. Pushing through that heel, make sure your knee is behind your toe. Put that pressure where it needs to be. One more each side. All right, now we're going to come down to a squat. We're gonna grab those toes, straighten the legs, come up, circle the arms. I'm going backwards first. This time I'm gonna circle them forward. Really trying to open up those shoulders. Straighten it up, circle backwards, take it down, up, circle forwards, take it down, up, circle it backwards, last time forwards, down, up, circle it forwards. All right, let's end this with some butt kickers for a few seconds. Stretch out those quads, get those hamstrings warmed up. My quads are super sore from a workout that I did two days ago. So even doing this butt kicker is slightly painful right now. So whew, I need a good warm up. If you need more of a warm up than this, if you're just feeling super tight, Please continue on 
and pause the video. I promise you I'll be there when you push play again. All right, five seconds. And one. Awesome. Your warm up is all done and we're ready to crush this boot camp workout. All right, guys, we are going into that first circuit. We're starting off with a ski squat plus a hammer front raise. So I'm just getting 10 pounds for this one. You're going to squat, hammer front raise. Take it up, hammer front raise. Hammer front raise, up, raise it up. You also have the option here to just do the front raise after you come up from the squat, okay? No big deal. And awesome. All right, now we're gonna do a side squat to a lunge and a snatch. So you're going to squat to the right. You're gonna get that weight overhead. So there we go. Snatch it up overhead. I was doing a curl and press at first. You can also do that. You can curl it and press it after you squat. Or you can take the snatch and do that. And here we go. And one. Very good. All right. You're going to do a switch lunge and curl. So you can do it this way. Or you can do a switch foot mountain climber. Curl it up. Squeeze it up. Ten seconds. Again, you can just do that switch lunge, curl it as well. We've got that side squat to lunge and snatch on the right, so you're going to be taking it out to the left side with your side squat, lunging, and snatching the right here, okay? So that left leg is kind of making an L. Almost there. Whew. Very good. Very good. All right. Now we have a curtsy to a dumbbell press out. So take my tins here, curtsy. Press them out. Press it out. Press it out. Press it out. Press. 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 Woo, halfway there. Press. Press. 
Press and press. Hips forward. Press. There we go. You're done with that one. Your first round of this is done. So we're going back to that ski squat, hammer front raise. Okay, here we go. So ski squat, hammer, up, hammer, ski squat, hammer, up, hammer, ski squat, hammer, take it up, hammer, ski squat, hammer, take it up, hammer. Good times. Really tighten that core. This is shoulder work and leg work, but all of work is cold, is core work, cold work. And there we go. Whew. Easy for me to say. All right. Now we are lunging out and squatting out to the right, snatching with that left. I'm just using 15. seconds. Two, one. Very good. All right, that one's done. Now, switch foot curls or switch lunge curls, whatever you want to do. I think I'm going to stick to switch foot. Any style of curl you'd like to do is fine. You can alternate hammer and standard. You could do a wide curl. Almost there. Whew. Keep that balance. Two, one. Very good. All right. Now we're going to step out to the left and match on the right. So here we go. Doesn't have to be fast. Get out if you need to. Whew. Not easy to do after a switch lunge or a switch foot. Oh, get that weight safely down. All right, you have a curtsy to a dumbbell press out. Last move in this little set here. So woo, keep those hips forward. Press it out. I think this mat is determined to make me fall down. <laughs> it wants blood. All right. Ah. Still have been hard pressed to find a mat that was squishy enough for support 
but that wouldn't roll up or flip on my floor. Does any of you all have good ideas about that? Let me know. Two, one. Very good. All right. All right, we are ready for some Tabata pairs to get that heart rate up. We are starting with shuffles and then we're going into oblique mountain climbers. These will be Tabata pairs, so four times each exercise. I'm just gonna do a shuffle like this because of my lack of space. You can always take your shuffles farther if you have the space. So I'm just focusing on staying low. You can always shuffle those feet a little bit. I just find that with my space, this is a little more of a challenge for me. Staying low, getting to the ground, still trying to keep that chest up. Whew. All right, cross body mountain climbers, because we haven't done those in a while. <sighs> my gift to you. All right, so you can either do oblique knee tucks if you have trouble with these at higher speeds or the full cross body is also good. Keep those hips down, back nice and flat. And one. All right, moving the booby trap. All right, shuffles again. Here we go. Take it down. I've already done this twice because my camera did a mysterious shut off even though it had battery and plenty of memory. So I have done this part once before. So if you can go faster than me, do it. I'm doing my best, but I'm pretty worn out. Okay, cross body. I always say I don't like technology because I'm not super proficient at it, but I doubt that we would be able to do this without it. So I am also very thankful for technology because it brought us all together. Oh yeah. All right. Here we go. Shuffles. Do them any way you want. Keep that chest up. Five, two, one. Excellent. If you need to get your breath back, by all means, do these low impact and nice and slow. Here we go. Eight seconds. Need elbow, cross it. Three, two, one. Ooh, nice. All right. Wipe it off. Breathe it in. All right, here we go. Flood that body with as much oxygen as you can during those rest periods. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. Eight of eight. Last set of cross bodies. We'll be on to something new. I told you you wouldn't get bored. You'll get tired, but you won't get bored. One of my sweat drops is in the shape of an electric guitar. <laughs> Some people watch clouds. I watch sweat drops and see what shape they're in. Awesome job. You all crushed this Tabata pair. Now we're going into the more fun combos. All right, guys, we are ready for that second circuit. We are gonna start off with tricep push-ups times four with some plank jacks times four. We'll then go into some switch lunge rows, some chest presses with leg lowers, some Y presses, um, or you could do mountain get-ups there. And then we're gonna end with a squat curl and press. Now I have given us 
15 second breaks between these moves so that we can switch weights because we'll have to do that. So first, we are gonna get into those tricep push-ups and plank jacks. So take those feet out wide if you need to. One, two, three, four, then plank jack. One, two, three, four. One, you can do these on your knees. Two, three, and four. Four jacks. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four. One, two, three, four. Awesome work. All right, that's your first move, knocked out. All right, switch lunge to a row. I'm taking 15s here. So you can do either a switch lunge here, row, 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 or you can do a switch foot mountain climber. I don't know which of those I like better. <laughs> or you can just do a row. <sighs> 10 seconds. <sighs> All right, awesome job. All right, you guys have chest presses with leg lowers. Safely down to the mat. All right, we're starting here. Good job. Take it down, take it up. Take it down, take it up. You can always do this separately if that is a better challenge for you. Okay. Very good. You are all done with that move. Now, we're gonna do either Y presses or mountain get-ups, whatever you're feeling like today. So, I'm gonna need to lower my weight a lot for those Y presses. seconds here. Very good. We made it. All right. Squat, curl, and press are next. All right. I'm going to go back down to my 15s for that. Two seconds. And one. Here we go. Curl, press. Squat and curl, press. Try not to swing. Take it through that full range of motion for the bicep curl. Oh yeah. 10 seconds. Using this one to get our breath back.
Very good. Whew. Whew. All right. We're back to the top with those tricep push-ups and plank jacks. Two and one. All right, down to your mat. One, two, three, four. You can also leave those legs wide. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Keep running into my table there. One, you can take it to the knees. Two, three, four. Then you would just pop those legs back up. Two, three, four. And you're finished. Awesome. All right. Now we are going to do some switch lunge rows. I'm going to take mine down to the 12 this time. Then a little bit of fun in the old left arm there. So you can either be here You can take a back step or a back lunge and row. You can go into those switch foot mountain climbers. Very good. All right. We're done with that one. Chest press leg lowers. I'm going to go down to 20 because of that shoulder, her hand. It's not going to challenge my chest as much, but it will save my shoulder. So we got to pick our battles there, as with everything. Pick them up. Lower. Lower. Lower, lower, lower. Getting close. Five seconds. Very good. Very, very good. All right, last time for that one. This time I think I'm going to do a mountain get up there. Instead of those wide presses, my shoulder is giving me all the fun right now. So we're going to take the weight over and up, press up. Pull over, press up. Press up. Press up. Press up. Last one. You had to get up anyway. Whew. Might as well do it that way. All right. Now we are squatting. Curling and pressing. <sighs> awesome. Here we go. Squat. Curl. Press. Take it down. Squat. Curl. Press. Take it down. I'm going to lower my weights here. Feel the old shoulder just to be safe. Just because you, you have to get lower doesn't mean you're getting weaker. <sighs> Means you are either focusing on form or that the workout has fatigued you. So don't be afraid. 
to lower those weights. On the other hand, don't be afraid to increase them if you're feeling good. So we are finished with that second circuit. We're going into another Tabata pair. All right, guys, we are ready for your next cardio Tabata pair. We will do hit the floors first, and then we'll do reverse mountain climbers. So hit the floors are just kind of a touchdown with a reach. I think I saw that for the first time on a Sean T video, so shout out to him for that move. All right, the reverse mountain climbers are just gonna be a reverse plank. You're gonna step those knees in. This is a good time, okay? So those are your two moves. You have 10 seconds to get ready for that. Grab a quick drink. Oh my, okay, so going for upward explosiveness here with the shuffles. We were looking for lateral movement. Whew. Awesome. All right, now we're going to do those reverse mountain climbers. So Basically, we're just on our back, taking those knees in. <sighs> Reverse plank, try to shove those hips up. If you are someone who carries most of their mass in their lower body, these will be extra hard for you. Don't be discouraged, okay? <sighs> Do not be discouraged. Nobody ever got anywhere being discouraged, okay? So, take it up. You can just stick to a touchdown if that's better for you right now. Three, two, one. All right, excellent. Reverse mountain climbers. All right, here we go. Whew. I'm right here watching the clock the whole time. Not necessarily a good tactic. Four, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, we're gonna hit the floor again, hopefully on purpose. We are on number five of eight. Get after it. You can really hit the floor, boom. If you're frustrated today, make sure you don't hurt yourself. Three, one. All right. Ah. Reverse mountain climbers. Five seconds. Three, two, and one. Oh, I feel like I'm doing my school, my kids' school picture smile and everything today. All right, here we go. Last one of these, give it your all. I'm making it a goal to reach above my beam here. Five, two, one. All right, last reverse mountain climber. Now you can always just do knee pull-ins here if you can't stay up in that reverse plank. Not a big deal. If you're more advanced, you could always lift the legs that way. All right, you are finished with this cardio Tabata pair. Now we're gonna go into some upper body moves and we're gonna have a good time doing it. All right. 
take a quick break if you need one and I'll see you right back here for that. All right guys, we are ready for that upper and lower body set. I misspoke earlier and called it just an upper body set, but you're gonna have six different moves. You are going to alternate between upper and lower body moves. They're gonna be 45, 15 intervals. We're gonna go through them twice. So you'll have 15 seconds here before we get started. We're gonna do some cross body curls. I'm gonna use 15s for these. You have five seconds before we get started. And one. So with cross body curls, we're just taking that arm across our body, almost like we're dumping it out on the side. I like to call these Rory Gilmore's. I cannot say Rory, that's so hard for me. <laughs> but when Rory Gilmore was 21 on the Gilmore Girls, they threw her a little party and they made her a signature cocktail and she did not like that cocktail and it was bright pink and everybody wanted to throw it out because it was so gross. So I think about her throwing out her drink with this move for some reason. All right, you're done there. All right, now we're gonna go right into curtsies on the left. I'm gonna probably get about 20 pounds for that. Grabbing 20 pounds per hand for that. I'm gonna get those weights up to my shoulders. Curtsy, left only. Use good form here. Don't forget about your core. Nice and tight. Squeeze at the top. Next, we'll go into some military presses. And you're good. Shake it out. I'm probably just gonna use 12 pounds for these military presses because I'm working through some shoulder stuff. So here we go. Up, bring those elbows together. Halfway there. Remember, you can step that leg back if you're starting to arch. All right, awesome job. We're going to curtsy on the right. Grabbing my two 20 pound dumbbells again. You got three seconds. Here we go. Smile, it's almost over. Halfway there. seconds two and one oh, awesome job all right single single double kickbacks I only use about 10 pounds here so you're gonna get into a chair pose elbows up single, 
single, double, single, single, double, single, single, double. Really squeeze that tricep. Try to keep those elbows up. Ten seconds. Keep that spine nice and neutral by looking a couple feet ahead of you. Very good. All right. Now we're going to hit some butterfly squats. So you can do these with or without weights. All right. I'm just going to take my 15s this first round. You're going to just move those heels and knees in and out. We don't always have a huge variety of weights to choose from at boot camp, so um, sometimes if we have to use lighter stuff, we just go faster. So if that's your case, or like this case for me, these are 15 pounds that I'm using, I can go faster or dig deeper to still get good intensity. All right, we're back to the beginning. All right, here we go. those elbows tight to the body. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Awesome job. Now we're gonna get our weights ready for those curtsies on the left. All right, pop them up to the shoulders or leave them down, whatever works for you. These do not have to be fast. You don't want your knee to come all the way down to the ground like mine just did. I was just recovering from losing my balance a little bit. Fifteen seconds. Ah, very good. Here we go. All right. Press it up. Forward. You'll go through certain times during your training experience or fitness journey where you'll have a part of your body that will just give you all sorts of trouble. For some reason, these past couple weeks, Mine is my shoulder. It's not terrible pain, but it is definitely nagging with certain movements. So I'm either leaving those movements out or lightening my weight a lot, like what I'm doing right now. Very good. Get those weights safely down. All right, we're gonna curtsy on the right. Weights up, if you're putting them there. Ah, 
Remember to keep those hips square, even though that leg is twisting behind. Squeeze. You're about halfway there. Keep your focus. 10 seconds. And one. Very good. All right. Last set of single, single, double kickbacks. Again, because the shoulder, I'm just using about 10 pounds here. When I bring that up, it tends to crackle a little bit. So we don't want that happening. All right, down in chair pose. Okay. Single, single, double it up. Single, single, double. If this isn't burning enough, increase your weight. Awesome job. All done there. Get those weights back together. I believe our last move is a butterfly squat. So, awesome. All right, there we go. Waist to the shoulders, pointing toes out and in. If your floor doesn't allow you to pivot, why don't you just do some in and out squats? So narrow and wide like this, okay? You don't want any knee problems just to do a butterfly squat. Great move, but not worth it. You should feel this in your glutes. Awesome. You are all done. All right, guys, we have one last little brutal set. It is a descending rep pyramid. Just gonna be leg moves, single leg box squats. So um, I have got my trusty kettlebell with me to knock this out. And basically what we're gonna do is 12 reps on one side, 12 reps on the other, then 10, then eight, okay? Just a little finisher, no big deal. So we're gonna start on the left. Here we go. One, two, three, four. I'm using about a 16 inch elevation. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11 and 12. All right, other side. One, two, push through that heel. Three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, four more, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Awesome work. Shake it out a bit, get a drink, and we'll do your ten rep round. Awesome. All right, let's go back for 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Awesome, regroup your bell if you have to. If you have a bell for this move, 10 on the other. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. All right, take a break there. Awesome job. I'm probably gonna increase my weights here for this last round to 20 pounds per hand. And we will knock this last little set out. All right, here we go. Eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and Eight. A lot easier on the arms. Harder on the legs, though. Eight on the left or the right. One. Two. Three. Tighten your core. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Last one. Eight, get those weights safely off your shoulders. You are finished with the work part of this boot camp workout. Awesome job. All right, guys, let's get ready to cool down. We need it. <laughs> we deserve it from what we've done. So let's do a chest and bicep stretch first. So we're gonna get that hand on a wall. We are going to step away from that arm and open up that chest. Breathe in nice and deep, create some space there. All right, while we're at it, let's swing that arm back behind us and get a good tricep stretch. Awesome job, all right. Let's take that left arm, do our chest stretch on the left. Push into that shoulder there. Feel yourself really stretching the chest. And then depending on the placement of your hand, the bicep as well. All right. Get that left arm up for a tricep stretch. Awesome, awesome work today, guys. You're officially midweek boot campers. All right, take that arm down. Now we're going to stretch the shoulder, front of that arm there. We're gonna look over the right shoulder while hooking our left arm around the right arm. All right, let's do the same thing the other side. Left arm across, looking over that right shoulder, smashing my microphone. All right, let's make some nice circles forward. Let's make some circles backward, why not? Let's clasp those hands in front, round out that spine. 
take it up, squeeze at the top. And take it back forward, round out that back. Take it up one more time. And take it back. Now we're going to reach for those toes slowly. Just draw those fingertips all the way down to the toes. Exhale. As you let the weight of that head just lengthen your spine. Let's come slowly up. Let's interlace those hands. Go back over if you can. Stretch those shoulders, that upper back while we're getting these hamstrings taken care of. All right, lower those arms. Come straight back up. Loop those shoulders around. Make some nice circles. Now we're going to reach for that right foot. Going to use our left arm as counterbalance here. Drive the hips forward. Woo! Don't look down at your timer because you will fall over. All right. <clears throat> Relax that white right quad. And let's do the other side. Whew. Don't know what it is with the balance today, guys. Take the right arm in front, probably lack of sleep. So use my stumbles as a nice warning to heed in your own life. You gotta get that sleep. Although a lot of times as a parent, sleep is way beyond your control. <laughs> all right, Whew, we are all done there. Just shake it out, make sure you're nice and loose. Activity and the robot lady has given her Blessing that this this uh, workout is finished. So I will see you right back up at the camera. Great job guys All right guys great job crushing this cardio and strength boot camp workout. I hope you had a lot of fun I hope you sweated bucket loads and that you realized how strong you are by doing this workout with me and now you are officially midweek boot campers. So awesome high five boom I wish all of your sweet faces were in my class. That would be amazing. So Today was not my strongest day. I had to lower weights, you know, with a lot of the moves. I was not very balanced <laughs> and not super coordinated and had a little bit of trouble remembering some of the moves. So let that help you in two ways. First of all, let it make you giggle. We all make mistakes. We all are vulnerable at times. Have fun with it, be vulnerable, and know that your worth is not in being perfect. So that's your first lesson. The second one is, Learn from the times when you feel like that. Um, learn from the times when you're feeling fatigued and let those times help you reevaluate your training program, reevaluate your sleep, reevaluate um, just how you are feeling here and here, okay? So just learn from uh, little hitches in your giddy up, little setbacks, things like that, and do better going forward. So those are the two lessons we learned today. There is always tomorrow, um, Lord willing, to do it again, and um, there are always good opportunities to rest so that you can uh, come back and tackle the workout or another workout or even another workout another day. So just listen to your body and use little stumbling blocks as opportunities to get better. So now what I need you to do is drink a lot of water today. Get a healthy post-workout meal on your plate 30 to 90 minutes after this workout. If you have any questions about what that might be or how to put those things together, please email us at velvethamerfitness at gmail.com or comment down below. Also see us for your nutritional needs. Um, we're doing some online nutritional programming and we're having a lot of fun with it. And we'd love to help you uncomplicate your nutrition as well if that is something that you need. You can also catch us on Facebook, on Instagram, and on Patreon, where if you feel led, please support us there so that we can bring you more brutal workouts and tips for healthy living each month. Um, we have a lot of fun on there, just like we do here on YouTube. So other than that, <laughs> be kind to yourself today. Stretch some more if you need to. Be kind to somebody else. 
particularly someone difficult because, you know, it's easy to be nice to the nice people. It's the difficult ones that need us the most and that are the most difficult to dole out that kindness to. So find somebody like that, tackle them with love, and um, let me know how you do with that because <laughs> I struggle with that every day. So other than that, um, have an awesome week. And whether you felt like you were just one big ball of fitness today or whether your idea of fitness today was just fitting this whole pizza in your mouth, it is your health today and every day. And you overcame it with this awesome workout, so you better hit it hard. Boom! Have an awesome day, guys. 